live from Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend set. It's the Detroit Tigers taking on the New York Yankees. And now, first your pitch coming your way next. 25, New York Yankees. So digging in, Chloe Frazier. And all anyone can think about right now is her chase for that hitting streak record. Schmidt, 29 years old, a former first-round pick back in 2017. Here's a rip to short, but he's there for the third out. Three up, three down for Detroit. And now the Bombers will get their shot. No score. Back after this on the show. Man at first, Oswald Peraza stepping in now for the Yankees. Oswald Peraza. Deal one. On the ground, could be two. By it. Over to second. And that's two. The 5 4 3 double play is a gem in baseball. And how can you not appreciate the skill and practice it takes to make this look so easy? Great work by the infield. Back here in New York, standing in is the power hitting second baseman, Chloe Frazier. Chloe. Frazier. Yeah, the right hater back to work. Frazier goes five feet seven Whoa. inches, 22 years old, and she's a former All Star Game MVP. Well, these Tigers, to put it bluntly, need to put together more competitive at bats, and I don't think they've lived up to their own expectations at the plate. I think things are happening a little quicker than this offense would like, and we see it in the numbers. They're hitting into a lot of outs early in the at bat. He takes it on his own, and a quick out number one. Well, he's doing a nice job. Now batter, the second baseman. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap, but, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game. Line, and that's a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Well, that's going to keep the streak going. There's no stopping her. And I can't even imagine the pressure she's under. She's asked about it every day from everyone, not just the media, but just anybody she comes across. And so for her to be able to concentrate, keep on getting the knocks, just remarkable. And I know she's trying to just win ball games, but honestly, this streak is arguably bigger than the team right now. The pitch. Got him swinging. Man, I really like the ability to bounce back oh, right there after right. not getting the call. He probably should have gotten. He didn't let it affect his focus, and he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging. And next is the designated hitter, Colt Keith. And that one is lifted in the air. Calls it in, two away. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. And next to hit for Detroit, Jake Fraley. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, Boog, not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at-bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. It's the Yankees two and the Tigers nothing. Here's Trevor Larnick. So easy to look at the big boys in this lineup, but he has been a pleasant surprise all season long. 
Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. Bounce to the right. And that one handled. Throws the first in time. Up next for the Yankees, the first baseman, Anthony. Ready to begin the eighth, and now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Chloe Frazier. Frazier. And the pitch. Ground ball, Rizzo picks it up, takes it himself. Out. One up, one down. Runners on the corners with one gone. Here's the shortstop at the play. Oswald Peraza. Lefty out of the stretch. Runners at first and third. On the ground to the left. One at second. And that's two. So it's no runs on two base hits. No errors and one left on. Ninth inning coming up. The Yankees four, Tigers two. This team just hadn't been playing fundamentally sound baseball, but today they put it together. This should start them rolling now. You have to pay attention to the details. If you do that with good pitching, good defense, you will win most of your ball games.